All right. <laughs> Sudden sex and suspicious parents. Like it's. What did you say? Steve. <laughs> Yes! Hi, I'm Tom. I'm from the UK, land of Wimbledon, Lager, and national insurance numbers. And I'm Jeff from the US, land of tailgating, spring break, and free refills. And this is Brits vs. Americans, where we deep dive into cultural differences between our countries. And today, we're going to be talking about... Vacations! Also known as holidays for you guys. Yeah. Holly Bobs. Vacay. You know, jollies. Girls trip. <laughs> <laughs> Girls trip. There are fundamental differences in the ways that we go on holiday or that we vacation. And I think it's important that we sit down and hash it out. Yeah, even just starting with the term vacation. Mm -hmm. So like we could have called this video as Brits Most Americans Holidays, but we called the Christmas one that. Yes, because the Christmas season is the holiday season. Having biscuits on holiday is a completely different thing for me than it is for you. <laughs> All right, Tom, if you're going to go travel to the U.S., there are some very essential items. Wow, it's at like Christmas. Yes. Okay. So um, Christmas and summer. What have we got? We've got a... Oh, fabulous. This is a vacation staple. If you're going to a place with a pool, you need your floaties. Oh, my God, this is sick. <gasps> it's like a donut. Uh, wait, can I blow it up? This might take a while. It's going to take you days. Okay, I'll yeah. feel later. And what's on the donut? Sprinkles! Sprinkles, huh? Hundreds and thousands. Ah, uh, gotcha. Uh, next we have a, a bowl. Yeah, it's like a little hacky sack situ. Is this what a hacky sack is? Kind of. This is kind of like what a hacky sack is, but it's just... I can't play sports. <laughs> Watch, in case you forget. In case anyone didn't know you were American. <laughs> some sort of flag. Now, I wouldn't normally bring this... an actual flag to the beach. But for like a Memorial Day or yeah, 4th yeah, of yeah. July. I would happily, I, I would stick this in, in the sand just yeah. to kind of feel something. Interesting that you included this. Carrot oil with tan extender, original deep tanning, no sunscreen. Oh my God. So the emphasis on that is tan extender, no sunscreen. No Americans sunscreen? Americans like to deep fry their skin as much as possible. It smells know, beautiful. Wow. Not healthy. Do not recommend. It does smell good though. <laughs> oh, dog. It wouldn't be an American trip to the beach without a nice little <laughs> barbecue grill out. <laughs> this is such a politely sized pack of hot dogs. They don't want like triple this size. This is the, the travel yeah, size. Yeah, that's the UK size. Right, right. Yeah. And then finally, last but certainly not least, we have a variety pack of White Claw. Oh, <laughs> yes. Now, White Claws is a new thing. These have come up just a, uh, recently in the past few years. Yeah. But it's our version of Tinnies. Yes. We don't have tinnies in the U.S. Of course. It's the closest. It's not vodka, but it's like malt something. Yeah. It's like 95 calories. It's got no artificial sweeteners. It's gluten-free. Ain't no laws when you're drinking claws. I was going to ask. I know there's like a, yeah. like a, a, a rhyme. Thing. That's a real thing. So the first thing that's the most obvious discussion topic is destination. Yes. There are literal areas of Spain that are like well known for being like inundated with British people mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. the summertime. Because it's so close, you know, you can get a flight over for like less than a hundred quid. Whereas I feel like in the States, if you were going to Spain, that would be like, ooh. First we need to remember, Americans only get about 10 days of vacation. Oh yeah! So because there isn't that much holiday time, yeah. it really limits how far you can go. Sure. You're not gonna travel eight to 10 hours on a plane to come to Europe when you can probably only go for a weekend <laughs> wow. or a week. You know, if you want to do a two week trip, that's about your holiday for the year. So that's why most Americans travel within the United States themselves. We'd often go to the shore in Maryland. We would go to the Jersey shore. We would go up to New York. Right. Um, we would visit family in Boston. We would, you know, the big trip was California. Like going wow. from Maryland to California, six hour flight. Like I mean, that is pretty far, six hour flight to be fair. I think it also seems less far because it's the same country. Mm. Like if you were to get a six hour flight from the UK, you could probably get like decently way through Africa. When, when I was um, researching for this video, I found out that only 40% of Americans have passports. That didn't surprise me. I didn't get a passport until I was 20. That's insane. And that is to... so weird. Well, you don't need that because yeah, it, first of all, the US is huge. Yeah. So there's a lot of places to go within the US. So you, we have our mountains, we have our beaches. We have like incredible national parks, you know, the Redwood Forest in California, Grand Canyon, um, you know, deserts. 
uh, even just like random other sites, like Mount Rushmore, like historical things. Yes. Obviously you're not seeing the world, you're not getting yeah. culture, you're not trying like international cuisines, yeah. you're not hearing other languages, you're not meeting international people. It does sound way cooler to be like, Oh, I'm going to a lake in Italy. Yeah. I'm going skiing in France. Weekend trip to Copenhagen. Something that I found the most interesting. So when I moved to the UK mm -hmm. and people found out I was from the US, I would say nine out of 10 people that had been to the US had been to one state. Oh, really? And what state do you think that would be? New York? Mm -mm. California? No. The majority of Brits who have been to the US have been to Florida. Because they've gone to Disneyland. Because of Disney, which I just find Fascinating. I'm like, <laughs> come on. There are so many better places yeah. to go than Florida. Yeah. Jeff, it's all well and good discussing how a British holiday is, but mm -hmm. I think you really need to experience it. So, this is for you. Oh? So if you're gonna go on holiday, this is the essentials okay. that you would need. I'm interested to see how this compares to what I got you. A trashy magazine. Who's on here? I feel bad we've for got, these people. We've got some Meghan Markle, yeah. of course. Victoria uh, Beckham. Of course, Bex. Uh, that is Louise Redknapp. Duh, never heard of her. So yeah, lots of uh, British celebs I have never really heard of. So. Hard-hitting journalism. Well, you know what? You need to you need to study up. Okay, looking forward to that. Yeah. We have got... So you see, if you're, any, if you're, if you're anything like me, you may not tan for real when you go on holiday, so you're gonna need to to pretend. Stop it. And what's this? You that, put this on here. You've never used fake tan? No. Before? No, it's it's foamy, you put on about three things, and you, you have you never fake tan before? I've been to a spray tan where they do it for me. Yeah. And most importantly, we have our Stella. This is interesting to me because in America, Stella is a classy beer. Yes, what? <laughs> if I wanna feel rich, I get a Stella. Are you serious? Yeah. So that's like, that's like imported. It comes in a nicer glass at the bar. Wow. It's like a nicer bottle. I am gonna take the beers. Yeah. And you can have the rest. No. <laughs> All right. As an American, I find that a lot of times British people are quite embarrassed by Americans. They find us loud, they find us obnoxious. And so therefore, when I'm traveling in Spain, I feel a lot more at home because everyone isn't looking at the Americans, they're looking at the Brits. <laughs> oh no. The Brits abroad. Sudden sex and suspicious parents. Like it's- What did you say? That's a TV show on BBC <laughs> Three, or it was. These, you know, 18, 17, 18 year old boys mainly would like go on like their first lads holiday, but they wouldn't know that their parents were watching them like from afar. For the Americans watching, what is Brits abroad? Okay, so Brits abroad is kind of the catch all term for the way that people from the UK behave when we go on holiday. And it's not everyone, but it is a notable contingent in that people will go to Spain or elsewhere, but mainly Spain, and just get really, really rowdy. And there are select places amongst kind of the European continent, which tend to kind of like cater to and encourage this behavior the most. You've got like Magaluf, Ayanapa, Zanti Kos, Sunny Beach in Bulgaria, that's a big one. Americans, you can just hear from a mile away. Right, okay, that's the difference. I remember vividly, I was watching a beautiful sunset in Santorini with some friends. One family stopped right in front of us, all talked the entire time, didn't care that there were people behind them watching the sunset, clearly blocked <laughs> it all, and I was like, this is why they hate us. <laughs> They were oh, just see. so unaware of surroundings. Right. And then the second was this couple walked by, the girl stopped to take a selfie, the guy kept walking, super quiet, everyone's like really peaceful. This girl got, Steve! <laughs> Steve, I wanted to take a picture, don't walk off! <laughs> oh my God! And like everyone just like staring. And I was oh. like, oh <laughs> my God. So, I get it, we are loud. I think the good way of describing it is maybe like the Americans are annoying at the start of the night and the Brits are gonna get worse towards the end. <laughs> yeah. So, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, American Tom! Yes! Oh my God! What up? Tom, you look so good! Yeah, you know, it's supposed to be wrong, but it just feels right. Oh my God! Gonna claw up. Yes, the, that sound of the beach. Cheers. All right, so Tom, do a little spin for us, please. Yes, yes. Okay, so what we're rocking from head to toe, 
First, of course, the visor. It gets sunny out there. We need to block the sun. We also need to look like a douchebag. We've got the cheap sunglasses that you bought at the beach. We've got the American flag, because why not? We have the very most important staple, which I still wear to this day, is the shell necklace. We've got the Vans tank. We've got the long 40s that are way too big. We've got the Vans. And of course, most importantly, we've got the white cloth. I'm so confused right now. And I feel like maybe this is more like, you know, maybe maybe more like this. Yeah, a bit of that action. So, yeah. Is that better? Oh, it just works. It, it just works. It's just good. While we were mentioning those cities, you were chatting a bunch about like lads holidays. Lads, lads, lads. Talking about lads holidays, there is another specific kind of kind of rowdy holiday that you guys do partake in, which is spring break. Spring break yeah. is a real, real, real thing. So spring break is basically our version of half term. It's when like okay. we we have a break in between the semester uh -huh. where there's like a week off. Mm -hmm. And because we don't get to vacation very often, because yeah. we don't get very many vacation days or breaks in school, that one week we go nuts. Got it, got it. My senior year of college, my last year in school, I went to Cancun. My friends and I did the whole Cancun spring break. We got like all inclusive, stayed at a uh, resort, yeah. and we did everything. Is it like lots of, I imagine it to be like loads of like cheap tequila. Lots of cheap tequila, like every restaurant you walk into, every bar you walk into, like tequila and like water guns that are spraying into your mouth. Senior Frogs had like a water slide that you like went up to at the top of the stairs of the bathroom. I got my eyebrow pierced on the steps up to the slide and then <laughs> did the slide. <laughs> what? So I had my eyebrow pierced for three weeks from Senior Frogs. Um, Senior Frogs is Senior a... Frogs. Okay. So without further ado, I give you British Jeff. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I mean, would you would you look at this? Look at you go! This look is great. It. This is great. Look at it. Love it. From top to bottom, we've got the sunblock on the nose. Uh, it's kind of a kind of legacy British look, but it's something that I think happens often enough. And let's be honest, this is quite funny. Yeah. Uh, we then have the kind of like cut off uh, kind of flannel shirt here. You know, sun's out, guns out. That's a big, you know, British thing. The crossbody bum bag is a very important item. Does it have anything in it? Probably not, we'll never tell. Uh, then we have some kind of pattern short, very short of, on the leg. I think this is a fabulous um, short length for a man. And then of course we finish it up with some lovely sliders. The shorts are very short, I like it. Yeah. My inseam definitely got shorter moving from California to the UK. <laughs> Um, doesn't leave much to the imagination, but that's fine. It's absolutely fine. I see the benefit of this. If you're gonna have shorts this short that yeah. like barely have pockets, yeah, exactly. You got to keep your stuff somewhere. Crack open Estella. Ah, uh, and read some gossip. <laughs> oh, oh then, my God, she didn't. Uh, she did. No. <laughs> Can you believe? Bravo, Jeff. I can't, I literally, I literally can't. <laughs> Tom, you know I could do these for days. Yeah. Like, I feel like, yet again, we've only scratched the surface, Honestly. and all I want to do is go on vacation. Yeah, I just want to catch a flight somewhere far, far away. Maybe to Disney World. Maybe to Benidorm. If you're watching this video, definitely let us know what other differences that we might have missed. And uh, until then, I'll uh, see you in Florida. Spring break! <laughs>